In this short tutorial, I will be teaching you how to use Stroke Path, which is a feature of the pen tool that makes our Photoshop brush follow any path we create. Now, this is a great tool in Photoshop if you want to get clean looking line art or alter any existing complex shapes you might have created. To use Stroke Path, all I'm going to do is press P on my keyboard to switch to the pen tool and then draw a very basic path like so. Something important to note is if I switch to my brush tool by pressing B, the size of the cursor is going to determine how thick the line ends up being. So I'm going to switch back to the pen tool and then by right clicking and choosing Stroke Path, we're going to have a lot of different options here. I'm just going to go ahead and choose brush and then finish off the line. Now, the cool thing about this feature is that we can also simulate pressure just by checking this little box and we will see that Photoshop has tapered the start and the end of our line. Basically, any other setting that you introduce to your brush will affect stroke path. In addition to pressure sensitivity for size, we can also affect the opacity by clicking on this little icon here. And once we finish stroke path, it's going to fade in and out and taper our line. I'd probably say the best part about Stroke Path is just experimenting with all the different brushes that you download in Photoshop. Right now I've got a very basic rake brush and if we go ahead and use Stroke Path you can see the interesting results that we get. The same can also be said for this really awesome halftone pattern that I have. Now a really cool feature is Stroke Path isn't just limited to the pen tool but also to the shape tool. All you have to do is just ensure that path is selected and then using whatever brush you fancy, go ahead, switch back to the pen tool, hit stroke path and Photoshop is going to use our shape as the base. And now we have this really cool ink pattern that we have here. And a practical way that I use this is during this Red Dead Redemption fan art I did. To get that really nice inky streaky pattern across the sun, I just used a circular shape like so. And then using stroke path and we have the shape. And then just zooming in a tiny bit, we can see this effect a bit more clearly. So here's another interesting example for creating this road texture. In the road, you have that dividing lines across the sides. And what I did was created a path like so, filled it in with some yellow. And then I'm going to make my brush a lot smaller like this. And basically, I'm going to use this as an eraser and erase in between the two lines. So just making the brush a little bit smaller and then switch over to stroke path. Instead of brush, I'm going to choose eraser and then hit OK. And you can see we've got very, very clean lines like this and for very easy, minimal effort as well. So I encourage you to think about how you might use stroke path in your own artwork. And until next time, take care and stay safe.